Welcome back, everybody. Today we are celebrating baby, and Orly Shani is going to show us how to make an amazing DIY 3D decal situation yeah. for your situation. wall that will really make your wall pop. By the way, this is one of the coolest things you've done. This is so cool for a kid's room, for a baby's room, for I, I'm going to say even for an adult's room, yeah. if you had the, the right decals. I'm telling you. Yeah. So I actually got this idea because I've been house hunting, and I go on you know websites, and I'm looking at houses, and you, know, you flip through the pictures. Yeah. This exact thing was on the wall in someone's house, and I was like, I'm going to buy that house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. And I just thought it was really cool, and they actually had a different one in each yeah. room. So the original one that I saw that I liked was this skateboarding one, which is really cool because Connor is really into skateboarding now, and it moves fast, and it's fun. But they had one of Butterfly flies in the little girls room wow. and you could do a bunny hopping in a nursery or yeah. I mean there's a lot of things all you really need um, in order to come up with an idea is to google the image with the word sequence at the end so skateboarding sequence or you know butterfly flying sequence and it will show you the sequence from beginning right. to end and that creates this sort of effect where you see the actual moving image that's really the most important part of this so okay. Google you can find free clip art online yep. all you have to do is print it out now you can see the paper I have here this was the image this is the actual sequence as I saw it on Google images and what I did was blow up each one and print them on cardstock now I would definitely recommend cardstock over regular paper because you are gonna paint it okay. and the regular paper is gonna get kind of like crinkly wet yeah. yeah this mm -hmm. will hold up better the next thing you're gonna need is something like this this is a adhesive spray and I'd recommend using a stronger adhesive as opposed to like a tacky spray of some sort just okay. want to get this spray which over here right here <laughs> right we're just there, there you go, go. <laughs> all right this spray so 3M, this is really strong. This is gonna hold really well. And you're just gonna do a light misting. So I'm just gonna mist on that. And now this is my card, my uh, foam core. Your foam core. You know, yeah, you're like foam, whatever. Sure. So you buy a big block of it. Um, so I cut out just what I needed for the yeah. sake of right now, okay. but you would have a big one and you would yep. put each of these on. The next thing you need is your X-Acto knife. And we're just gonna cut out this piece all the way around. Now, when you're doing it, what I would recommend, we learned in this morning, is go on all of the sort of straighter lines. So we're gonna start here, and it's easier, instead of now trying to curve down here, yeah. go here and run off to the end. And you kind of keep scoring it. Let me get one little part here so you can see. And what it will do is it will free this whole part. Okay, so now I'll come idea. up here Smart. so that, and then you go into the curved parts because it's really hard to get in and create mm -hmm. these straight lines. Because this is strong. Yes. Yeah. So you start creating, like you start like cutting out really chunks. Cut the fat away. And then go exactly. back and, and then go the back in. Precise and what it does is it will give you a 3D image. Now you can see on this one, see that white? Yeah. That's before you paint it. Okay. So I've got the black piece of paper on top, but obviously the meat yeah. that's inside mm -hmm. is white. The core of the foam core. The, yeah, the, core, the core of the foam core. So now you're just going to take your paintbrush and you're just going to paint not only the inside, but the front and the back as well, because you want to make sure that it matches. The way that it looked in the original picture, it almost looked like a wrought iron structure right. of some sort so you want it to be matte black you want it to look solid heavy and expensive. exactly sure. and so you're going to paint the whole thing right wow. you're going to cover that entire thing sure okay so this is how we create our little characters and and here is one how little by the way you, can you go big with this as big as you want i, I mean the foam core is going to be this big so yeah. you want to create like maybe three big ones you could do done that. and i imagine the the less intricate the actual picture is the easier it's gonna be. If you have a butterfly, yes. it's gonna be a lot easier to make than this. Because yeah. you gotta cut around, yeah. you know what I mean? Sure, consider sure. that when you're doing your images. Consider the detail in the photos, and you also wanna consider the size of it. The larger it gets, the more sweeping, the, like here, for instance, if you look at the difference between these two, the same exact image was much harder to cut here because it was so small. So little things that were little wrinkles in the pants mm -hmm. were easier on this one because they were just bigger. bigger. Yeah. So the larger you go, the easier it is to cut out. Okay. okay, the next thing you need, these are these little wooden discs. They come, we got them at Joanne's Craft Store. They're like, you know, I don't know, 50 cents for a little okay. bag of these guys. Sure. And also wooden dowels. This is how we actually create the 3D pop art aspect of it. So what we did is we cut these down into about a two and a half inch. Mm. Um, 
size okay. here, so okay. they weren't quite as long. And then I spray painted everything black. There you go, you can see it. So we spray painted everything black. Now, all you need is your hot glue. So I'm gonna do a little hot glue here. So let me ask you, you cut the dowels to the exact same length? Yes, all They're of them to the same it length. It doesn't matter how big or small the, the character is, just that, okay. Yeah, just pick pick one consistent length for yourself and it doesn't matter exactly what that is, could, just you choose. Could you do one shorter? Would it give it another dimension Yeah, more dimension. As well? You could, could you be. could start with the first one being in and oh. then have it come out and then have it go, go back, back in. in. Especially if you're doing things like butterflies or birds. Okay. Sure. Okay, so you can see right there, I've got this base down. Uh -huh. Now I did the same to the, whoa, oh, sorry. No, you didn't. You're never, no, you I didn't, didn't do the same. Oh, I didn't. Worry, you're not gonna see it. You're not gonna see it. <laughs> and now you're just gonna make sure that that stays really strong. And then we're gonna do the final part right here on the back. So now we're gonna take that big glob. You want a nice, big, strong glob. Thanks, Mark. Okay. And, and then if you pop that on, and we would go ahead and let this dry. And to get it on the wall, this is my favorite part. We're using this. Oh. This is the um, double-sided, yeah. really strong, super padded. This is by Scotch. Mm -hmm. You just cut a little piece here, and you put it on the back. And what I like about it is that it makes it temporary. It doesn't damage the wall. If you really, really love it and your kids are obsessed, you could always drill it into the wall. Mm -hmm. But this allows it to be temporary, pop it off the wall at any time. I think and everything in a kid's room is temporary. Yeah. Even if it's for and truth years, is, this temporary. is light enough that that'll hold. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, how it weighs much nothing. Some, how much would something like this cost? We saw them online starting at around 150 bucks and going way up. Yep. And this cost $5 to make.